Well, hello, Umbra. Is there any reason as to why you are choosing certain songs for certain characters? No. Uh, welcome, everybody, to part three of the Final Fantasy Tactics character review marathon. And OK, bear with me. I have 120 cards for this, like orbs but I'm not investing in this one quite yet. All right, so we got Orlando out of the way. We got Agrius out of the way. And now we're going to take a look at Ramza. And Ramza is a character that a lot of people love. So, you know, be forewarned that honestly, this is one of the characters where my impressions are starting to dip a little bit in terms of how good I think the actual upgrades are. Not to say that they're terrible, but unlike Orlando and Agrius, this one I'm not so jolly about. So let's take a look and see what we got and see if it is, you know, even remotely fair. Because Orlando and Agrius's upgrades are very synergistic and have very good chances of being really relevant to where JP's meta actually is, which I'm not even talking about tier one teams. I don't think that is the case. I think like tier two is perfectly acceptable for these kind of improvements kind of thing. Given, you know, what JP's current meta is, those two characters are going to find their way really in quite, you know, into that quite nicely. Ramza, I'm just kind of uns more unsure about than I am about, you know, Orlando and whatnot. So talking first about Nagnarok, uh, that old golden sword that you probably know about but haven't looked at for in forever. This thing has gotten a bit of a improvement. I mean, it's gotten its plus six previously. And now if we're talking about just uh, conditional, uh, it does have some extra conditions like it was slash attack of 15. So if I just pull up the one that I have, which is only a plus five, apologies, I guess. You can see that we have just a list of abilities for certain, like it is slash attack 15 regularly. Here uh, we can see, so Ramza, uh, accuracy plus 15, AP consumption down, and as well, AOE resistance of 10. We take a look here, that's Orlando's bonus. We take a look here, we have Gafgarion, and also Delita. So Ramses upgrades is kind of that little bit of, okay, all right, um, they're probably going for something here. So we have to take a look at other things that also are in this conversation. And part of that, matter of fact, really quickly, throw on that to make my equipment selection a little bit easier because the piece of equipment I am looking for is this, which again, excuse me, for it only being a plus three. Now this, the sore tillage, tillage, that French, I don't know. Uh, also gotten its plus six version has blind resistance of 20, but also has uh, conditional benefits for the Final Fantasy Tactics characters. As you can see, it's just one conditional clause up. So totally for the Tactics characters, they get the blind resistance, they get single target resistance of 15. Move plus one for one turn for self. Increase evasion rate by eight. And grants the following effect. Uh, upon hit of plus 20% attack when performing a critical hit, and also 20% for magical. Whether this is actually going to be good enough? Probably not. There are some really, really good equipment in this game already, so I don't think that's going to be. 
So uh, continuing down the list of upgrades, let's talk about Dream Enhancement. Dream Enhancement is pretty, pretty like straightforward, except for the ability. If you take a look here, it's essentially just 15% of reducing physical and magical damage taken, which I mean, I would love that on Agrius, who's kind of a defensive character, but here, okay, all right. We're getting somewhere with uh, this picture. Uh, continuing on, let's talk about also that ability that is being upgraded. So we can see it right here, so let's leave it up. This ability also, very quickly, shout now increases attack by 60 percent for four turns magic by 60 percent for four turns and bravery by 20 percent for four turns as well as defense up by four turns grants protect for four turns for allies when conditions are met will cast an ability for allies that when their hp goes below 60%, they get an AP recovery and CT recovery. Taking a look at it, the AP recovery is 20 and CT recovery is 300, which is kind of neat. Um, put a pin in that. I'll just finish reading the rest. Um, critical evasion of 30 for four turns for allies, defense penetration of 40 for four turns for allies and spirit penetration of 40 for four turns for allies so really mont it's kind of okay I, I my brain went for a second there rams's upgrade puts him much more towards being a damage resistant um shouty guy i mean this is really good uh the essential buff that you are getting off of this is pretty long lasting at four turns and it covers essentially a lot of bonuses that characters would be quite happy for. It's also a little bit neat. The 60% uh, HP after 60% HP happens, uh, you know, you drop below it that you get a CT and AP boost, which is, you know, there are a lot of those HP ones that just kind of sit there and when they recover HP, they allow a unit to go for a fair a bit longer. Here, this is AP and CT up. I wonder if this is going to be one of those things that is you, you don't understand the impact of it until you're actually in a match. There's so many things right now that kind of cancel haste and haste is still a status effect that people like to run, that I wonder just having the CT boost that Ramza isn't just a potentially really good third support character, maybe. Um, that's all just, you know, really hypothetical at this point because it's hard to say whether or not this will be enough to get there. Taking a look at what else we have, his limit burst has been upgraded again. It now breaks general barriers for targets. So once again, pretty good support for what it is. I mean, if we're just looking at this, it's, you know, essentially a square base pattern now. So it has an easier chance catching multiple opponents. Breaking, it, it doesn't even matter that Rams's damage might not, well, is essentially not going to be good enough because most of his kit is towards survivability and support. Port, I feel here that this ability casting off is just good enough to just cast because you're also dispelling, you know, buffs, haste, physical and magical damage up. You're decreasing magical attack resistance by 40, almost 40% 40 for characters, which, yeah, I mean, throw him on a team where there's plenty of strong mages currently in the game. And it's 100% hit chance too. Honestly, the Limit Burst is not bad, and the upgrade is quite good. Taking a look at some other things that we were talking about previously, but just for completion's sake in the video. Random Cutting Life deals larger damage now, has a ink... Oh, sorry, I'm looking at Delita for some reason. Let me scroll up. Three consecutive hits is now a complete misnomer of an ability because it actually hits targets four times and has four casts so why didn't you change it to quad hit gumi 
Uh, it also has a, you know, a range now of a square. So it gives a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more potential of being just generally, you can still use it. But really here, I mean, you're removing targets raise and reducing slash attack resistance. Uh, yeah, then dealing damage. Sorry, it is still three hits, apparently. That must have been a mistake when I read the upgrades the previous day. But it can be used four times now. Somebody messed up on that. Maybe me. It's still good accessible chaining for any guild raid events or anything like that, so that's generally pretty fine. Double Break is dealing extra large damage now after uh, removing all buffs from targets and is, once again, its range shape is in a square. It is just really, really difficult to say whether or not an ability like that is ever going to be that good. That's his shout ability, I think. Not that one. Oh, I hate this one might be it. Yeah, this is the W break. So it deals extra large damage. It does have an incredibly short range and it is essentially going to be dependent on Ramza either sneaking up to an opponent or just being damage resistant enough. Ale Saint uh, creates a barrier around self that reduces physical damage three times. Uh, also, now when his HP falls below 50%, recovers a medium amount and increases slash attack power and single target resistance for three turns. That ability, I'm just not super, super feeling too good about it because, again, JP currently has really strong mages, and unlike Agrius, who has just a ton more HP, so it's good value in combination with her healing up, here it's just kind of flat, so it, I mean, it's good for his survivability, it's good for him sticking around and potentially getting up close and being able to use W break and whatnot, or W break, but here, I mean, I just don't know if it's going to be as successful as Agria, so I'm a little bit more wary about this ability. All right, and I think the last one we need to talk about, uh, Sword of Light Improved. Creates, uh, nope, sorry, uh, increases own area attack resistance penetration rate for three turns, deals large damage after lowering defense and mental level target for targets within range, Reduces defense penetration rate for returns. That ability, da, 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 if I just can find, is right here. So you can see basically what it is now. You know, it's a bigger AoE. It does give AoE resistance penetration of 30, a flat 30, not necessarily, not a percentage. I think that it's just kind of okay. Like, honestly, his damage upgrades don't seem like enough on their own that I am super confident in just throwing resources at Ramza that I wouldn't just be happier putting into Orlando and Agrius, who seem like they have their kits much more together. Like, I'm just not too terribly certain. You can't unlock Shout's benefits without him going to 140 at least initially. So it might be something that I do upgrade later, but for now I'm pretty much a little bit underwhelmed by Ramza. At least tentatively, again, I do feel like that shout ability, maybe I am underestimating it too much. And really once it gets that CT up and AP boost up, it will just be crazy for certain teams because it just kind of sits there and then when your opponent triggers it you almost get essentially a free turn off of it could be a big difference maker so my opinion is that i am not going to be upgrading ramzo which does make it a little bit more difficult to you know demonstrate him but that's my thoughts and let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. See you later.